the guys in Los Angeles, Nashville, Dallas, and it's not they're not any better in the Midwest. They quite frankly, I think they're trash all over this country in the age range of about 20 to I think about 55, maybe even 60. A lot of men are trash. <laughs> The dangers of the trad con chameleon and in this video we are just going to take a quick look because you probably have already seen it by now but just a quick look at what I call trad con Tommy now Tommy Loren in her recent rant about men so let's dig in and then we're going to kind of break this down about why again you just got to be so careful today is a man with the women that you uh, decide to keep in your life. So just to start here again, I'm only showing you about a minute of her rant. She's just talking about how all of her girlfriends that are successful, cute, whatever, are having a hard time with men. So let's just let her take it over here. Super, I mean, these women range in every body type and every everything. They're all successful, they're all intelligent, they're all good people. But if all of these women, including myself, are having issues, then I have to think, it might not be us. It might be you, it might be men, it might be men. Now, I've often talked about the pussification of America and how men are no longer men. I talk to my mom about this a lot and she says, well, maybe it's just the guys in Texas, maybe it's just the guys in Los Angeles. It is not just the guys in Los Angeles, Nashville, Dallas, and it's not, they're not any better in the Midwest. They, quite frankly, I think they're trash all over this country in the age range of about 20 to I think about 55, maybe even 60. A lot of men are trash. A lot of men don't know how to treat women. A lot of men don't know how to really, quite frankly, pull their heads out of the sand and pay attention. So I am going to help you. All right, so there is the clip that we are going to take a look at. I mean, you can definitely see the bigger version, man. That would be like a whole live stream to break down or something because of all the things we could dissect. But there's TradCon, TradCon uh, Tommy for you. And uh, we're going to go through this again just kind of bit by bit and just kind of talk about some of these issues, uh, especially for some of you guys that are newer to what we'd call the red pill or going your own way. So let's start again from the beginning here. Super, I mean, these women range in every body type and every everything. They're all successful, they're all intelligent, they're all good people. But all right, now that very first part there, the, the first, there's two things I wanna break down on there, is that this sounds an awful lot like female dating strategies. And we know this is men, that women have this uh, blind allegiance to women, period. Right? Female empowerment, they're going to have this blind allegiance to always taking uh, women's side. And just like you see on female dating strategies, just like you see here, you'll often hear this. All the girls I know are such good catches. They're so wonderful. They're so amazing. I can't believe they can't land a guy. Right? It's all putting the responsibility on the men. Men bad. Woman good. Of course. But the second part of this is notice the ways that she used to categorize her women, friends. Every, everything. They're all successful. They're all intelligent. They're all good people. But okay, they're all successful. They're all intelligent. They're all good people. That honestly sounds a lot like the requirements that a traditional man would be expected to bring in, right? A traditional man is going to be um you know intelligent successful and a good person that would be what you would probably put as that's the type of man you want if you're a woman if you if you were to think about that traditionally but those are the things that she brought up of her girlfriends all right successful intelligent and good people the good person one i think at you know across the board we all think that that would be a good in a spouse but successful and intelligence those two things this is the thing that women have a hard time understanding. They project their own, what they find attractive in a man, and they project that now on themselves with this whole feminism and feminist movement and anything a guy can do, I can do it, and I can do it better. So they're now trying to compete with men at men's own standards. So now these women are going around going, look, I'm successful and intelligent. I should be able to get whatever guy I want because they're projecting what they look for in a man. They want a successful, intelligent man. 
well, if I'm that way, then I should be able to get any guy. But they don't stop and think, what is it that men want? Maybe men want something different. And let's take Tommy Loren as an example specifically. She has hundreds of thousands of followers. She's written a book. She's known pretty, you know, around the U.S. So she has this status that you would call it, the thing that a lot of women look for. She has the social status. She has the successful status part. So now Tommy, her hypergamy is going to make it so the more guys she dates, right, she wants a guy that is higher than herself. She wants a guy that she deems more successful than herself. She wants a guy that she deems has higher social um, credibility than her herself does. This is what's happening to a lot of women. So what she's doing is she's elevating herself. Good, good for her. That's cool, right? She's elevating herself, but what she's doing is, is she's doing this? Since she doesn't understand hypergamy and she's going on date after date, like uh, we're gonna hear again about different guys in different towns or whatever. So the more guys she's tasting, right, it's only setting her standards higher. And since her standards are already set to, he has to do above and beyond what I am bringing to the table, that is where the problem lies. Because now her pool of men are so small. And then those men, those high status men that she actually wants, the ones that she's like looking for, Those guys don't want another man in the relationship. They don't care about Tommy being super successful and her having this big, you know, social following and all that. Men don't care about that. They would want the opposite. They'd want the sweet, the nurturing. They'd want someone that can stay home, raise the kids, whatever. Those top successful men want something different. And that is why especially successful women are going to have such a hard problem if they don't pull their head out of the sand and understand this. You have to understand hypergamy or a woman will never be happy if she continually sets her expectations higher and higher by the more, by dating around and dating around and dating around. All of these women, including myself, are having issues. Then I have to think, it might not be us. It might be you. It might be men. And the other way you could look at it is if you and all of your friends, like you said, are all different shapes, sizes, and all that stuff, if you and all your friends are all having trouble, then you know what? It might be you. It might be you and your circle of friends and your feminist brainwashed attitude, masculine attitude that you project to the world where men are just like, oh, one of those, I'm out. I don't want to be scolded. I don't want to be told what to do. I'm a man. I'm not a little boy, a little kid. I don't want some masculine woman to try to scold me. Men. Now, I've often talked about the pussification of America and how men are no longer men. I talk to my mom about this a lot, and she says, well, maybe it's just the guys in Texas. Maybe it's just the guys in Los Angeles. It is not just the guys in Los Angeles, Nashville, Dallas, and it's not. they're not any better in the Midwest. They, Quite frankly, I think they're trash all over this country. And So, now... <laughs> Now we heard that, right? You can tell she has experience. It's not just the guys in LA and Nashville. It's not just the guys in blah, 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 Dallas, all this. She's tasted a lot of them, guys. One, two, three. Snack time! Again, the more you taste as a woman, the buffet, the more unfulfilled you'll be because you'll need a perfect man. The more you taste, the more you date around, the more you sleep around, the higher your expectations get. Fueling your own unhappiness, ladies. Fueling your own unhappiness. Now, I will give her a point there. Yes, we have a pussification of men and it is disgusting in this society. But on that same token, we have a masculinization of women, which is also is disgusting. So women point out the pussification of men, which I totally agree with, without realizing that they are the type of women projecting this masculine attitude, which what happens is then these masculinized women, oh, I'm such hot stuff. I'm so successful. I'm so intelligent. I'm so confident I should be able to get any man. She walks around with that confident attitude, which women are attracted to, but men see that and then men go, well, shoot, that's a strong, independent woman. I better, uh, 
I better not step on our toes. I better not say anything wrong because we've been brainwashed by the stupid mainstream media and society and crap that masculinity is bad and all that stuff. So yes, there's a pussification of men. There's a masculinization of women. And there's very few men that are able to hold strong and keep their balls with the society to be able to actually put one of these really strong women in their place, which is the only way it will ever work in an actual intersexual dynamic relationship. So there's so few men that are still have those balls and are willing to put the foot down. And then guess what? Some of those men that do that, they get criticized now by their wife or their girlfriend about being too controlling or you never listen to my voice so again that's why the smartest men have seen it we've looked at it we've gone yeah feminists are very toxic well now we go well shoot these trad con chameleons want a traditional man but they can pull their feminist card whenever they want so that's dangerous too so guys are looking at it and we're going yep dangerous dangerous i'm just walking away i'm out age range of about 20 to I think about 55 maybe even 60 a lot of men are trash a lot of men don't know how to treat women a lot of men don't know how to really quite frankly pull their heads out of the sand and pay attention so I am going to help you oh you're so nice you're so sweet Tommy Chad Contonomy thank you for helping us you're such a good person this girl is attractive I'm not gonna lie about that she's attractive she's visually appealing but listen to her voice, the way that she talks. You can, when I say masculinized, I don't mean that she looks like a shaved head, purple haired feminist or whatever. When I mean masculine, I mean her attitude, her mindset, her voice tonality, just the way she talks. Listen to the that that energy behind it. Know how to really, quite frankly, pull their heads out of the sand and pay attention. So I am going to help you. Oh my God! Don't ever leave me. Ever. Good. Cause I'd find you. <laughs> Yeah. It's just, it's just a different, it might be subtle, but it's just different. The voice tonality between a feminine, um, submissive woman and a masculinized woman, it's different, and guys can pick up on that and guys can tell. Um, so, again, uh, if you are age 20 to 60 as a man, you are trash in Tommy's, Tradcon Tommy's definition. Anyone here then trash? I'm, I'm trash. Uh, down in the comments, guys, put your put your age if you're trash or just, you know, if you're in the same age. 20 to 60 is a man. You are trash, says Tommy. Good luck, Tradcon Tommy. Um, and then the very last part that she's going to help. She's going to help. Okay, Tommy, please help us. Teach us, guys, exactly what we have to do, how we have to act in order to be confident, have balls, but also respect your voice. Teach us men how to uh, not be, um, what do you call it, like uh, misogynistic, but also not get ran over by the woman. You, you can't, Tommy. You can't teach it because, like I said, women can play both sides of the coin these days. A traditional woman says, I want a traditional man until the traditional man is not working for her anymore. Then that's too traditional for her. Now she's oppressed. She wants the new way of, of men. She wants the equality part of men or whatever. Okay, then you take the opposite side. You got the feminist women. I don't need no man. I need a man like a fish needs a bicycle, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you got the feminist man. So then that guy's like, all right, cool. You're feminist. You can, you know, you believe in complete equality. How about you pay for half on everything for our entire relationship? Oh, the feminist doesn't like that? No, no, no. I'm a goddess. You better pay for me because you're lucky for me. So Tommy, teach us men how to dance in the middle of all of these crazy things that get thrown at us oh wait you can't and the smartest men are understanding this finally waking up to this that it is impossible with today's standards so tommy if you actually want to do something then get all your strong successful women to look into family court laws look into the divorce laws and make them change to equal so that men can at least go in and give it a shot if they want without having to sacrifice the rest of their well-being if it doesn't go well. And until that happens, men are going to walk away. 
happily walk away. So if you're upset about that, any women watching this, then do something about it with your voice because you know as well as I do, look at my channel and other channels like this, we're never gonna get promoted on YouTube because we think we go against the mainstream. So it's one of those women out there that are going to have to speak out about this because no one wants to hear a man complain about it because everyone thinks that men have it so good because of the patriarchy. All right, I'm done with TradCon Tommy here. I had to do my due diligence and put this out here in case you hadn't seen it yet. What do you guys think? Guys, actually, here's my closing question for you guys. Would you be more, um, what's what's more risky in your opinion? Would it be more risky to actually like date a feminist or would it be more risky to date a traditional woman in today's day and age? Because there's gonna be a different package you get on each of these, but what's more risky do you think? What's more dangerous these days? Feminist or TradCon? Oh, and real quick, before you go, um, I filmed a breakdown video of that Cardi B horrible trashy new uh, WAP song and uh, I tried to upload it to YouTube and it was immediately blocked and wasn't allowed to play because of uh, I showed the video in it and all that stuff so anyway I'm gonna leave a link down below this video to my bit shoot channel where I do that breakdown video in case you want to watch and, you know um, it's a video if you haven't seen it yet you got to check it out Cardi B WAP pretty nasty but and again, that'll be at the bottom of this video. YouTube doesn't let me show certain videos. That's why if you're not following me on BitChute yet or MGTOW TV, uh, that would be my suggestion for you because I will be putting up videos there, especially the ones that uh, don't go on YouTube. All right, take care, guys. Don't forget, subscribe, like, comment, share the video, but definitely subscribe.